Hi there! Have you ever wanted to know how the movement of your body is affected by all the real forces that act on you while bungee jumping? After you've watched this video, you will be able to answer this question. Unlike the simplified situation discussed before, where the mass at the end of the vibrating spring was only subject to spring force and damping force, we now want to take into account also an external force. This could be, for instance, your friend pulling the bungee jump cord or the wind exerting force on a bridge. The bottom line still is mass times acceleration equals total force, which is restoring force F spring plus friction force F friction plus the external force. In this formula, we can use Hooke's law for the spring force and the approximation of the friction force by a constant times the speed plus the external force. Putting this into a more standard form, you recognize the equation m times y double prime plus gamma times y prime plus c times y equals the external force. This is a second order differential equation, but with a right hand side not equal to zero. It is some function independent of y. Since the previous lecture, you know how to solve second order homogeneous equations, that is, those equations with a right hand side equal to zero. You are now about to extend this knowledge to equations of this form, where g is some function of x. Such an equation is called a second order non-homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Here you see three non-homogeneous equations with various expressions for g. y double prime plus y prime minus 2y equals x squared y double prime plus y prime minus 2 times y equals e to the power 3 times x and y double prime plus y prime minus 2 times y equals the sine of x. To solve a non-homogeneous differential equation, you have to go through several steps. One of them is to find a particular solution of the equation. Let's focus on this step in the first example you just saw. Take a closer look at the form of the function of the right-hand side of the equation. The right-hand side is a polynomial of degree 2. A general polynomial of degree 2 is of the form a times x squared plus b times x plus c for some real numbers a, b and c. Let's try what happens when we take such a function as our guess for the solution y. Then the derivative of y equals 2 times a times x plus b, and the second derivative of y equals 2 times a. If this function were a solution of our differential equation, it should satisfy the equation in the gray box on the slide. Plugging in the expressions for y double prime y prime and y, we find that 2 times a plus 2 times a times x plus b minus 2 times a x squared plus bx plus c equals x squared. Rearranging the left-hand side gives minus 2a times x squared plus 2a minus 2b times x plus 2a plus b minus 2c. Now the function on the left hand side and the function x squared are equal if and only if the coefficients of the powers of x are identical. Thus, if in the rewritten equation the left hand side equals 1 times x squared plus 0 times x plus 0. In other words, minus 2a has to be equal to 1, 2a minus 2b has to be equal to 0, and 2a plus b minus 2c has to be equal to 0. Solving these three equations for a, b and c gives 
a equals minus one-half, b equals minus one-half, and c equals minus three-fourth. So, a particular solution for our non-homogeneous equation apparently is y equals minus one-half times x squared, minus one-half times x, minus three-fourth. But to find the general solution of a non-homogeneous equation, the procedure is as follows. Step 1. Solve the complementary equation. That is the associated homogeneous equation with the right-hand side equal to zero. Step 2. Find a particular solution of the non-homogeneous equation. And step 3. Take the sum of the solutions found in step 1 and 2. In our example, you found a particular solution y p equals minus one half times x squared, minus one half times x, minus three fourth. You can check, and please really do this, that the general solution of the complementary equation turns out to be y c equals c1 times e to the power x plus c2 times e to the power minus 2 times x. So the general solution of your second order non-homogeneous differential equation is the sum of yc and yp. In class you will learn how to solve non-homogeneous differential equations with even more complicated right-hand side. So see you there.